This is the story of how Sai discovered his friend had narcissistic behavior and the surprising lesson he learned about self-love. Sai has just changed high schools because of his mom's new job and Sarah was the first to be nice to him. He remembers it like yesterday. He was used to his small town and tiny school back home, but this school was terrifyingly different with 500 kids per grade. But Sarah was the one who looked him right in the eye, smiled, and invited him to sit with her when nobody else had. She has it all together. Perfect grades, perfect clothes, the latest technology, and friends who idolize her. She would say that when you love yourself, you attract abundance in your life. And Zai was fascinated by that. They immediately become close, bonding over their shared love of anime, Harry Styles, and trying to stop self-sabotaging their happiness and practice self-love. They hang out every day, but things start to change for the worse a few weeks into their friendship. And Sai worries he has misjudged Sarah. It all changed when Sai visits Sarah at work. During calculus, Sarah begs Sai to come to see her at the local coffee shop she works at. She pleads that her shift is boring, that the people there are toxic, and that she needed him. Sai agrees and goes to visit her during her break that evening. He waves through the glass as he approaches the door, but Sarah didn't wave back and looks away. When Sai sees her standing at the till, she looks up at him with annoyance and asks why he would come to her work. Sai is so caught off guard by her response that he doesn't know how to react. He holds back tears and apologizes before quickly walking away. As he walks off, he hears Sarah giggling with her coworker, whispering about how embarrassing and tragic Sai is and why he has nothing better to do than stalk her. The next day at school, Sai knows he has to face Sarah in homeroom. Sarah strolls in confidently and unbothered as always. She starts to talk to Sai as if nothing had happened as they prep for their English presentation. She confesses that she hasn't read the book and asks Sai to lead the book summary and Q&A. But she reassures him they'll be fine because she's read the cliff notes. Sai agrees as he couldn't lose marks on this assignment and needs to keep his grades up for the class. Plus, he has already done all the work. The presentation goes off without a hitch. Their teacher, Mr. Jacobs, compliments them on their work, especially on the creativity and insight displayed on their poster board. Sarah proudly thanks Mr. Jacobs, bragging that Sai didn't want to do a poster board, but she was happy to do it. Mr. Jacobs smiles and then talks about where they could have improved. Sarah applies before Sai could speak and throws Sai under the bus, explaining that Sai didn't finish his part. The teacher then looks at Sai and tells him how he expected more from him. <sighs> Sai runs home, avoiding the bus as he can't spend one more minute with Sarah. As he gets home and opens his phone, an article from Twitter pops up. People who practice self-love acknowledge their flaws and are thankful for who they are. Narcissists display the opposite behavior. Narcissists believe that no one will bring them contentment simply because they need constant recognition and admiration. Connected Family Services. Sai feels comforted after reading that and feels bad for Sarah. Her insistent need to be admired by everyone, how she humiliated him and never apologized, as she took credit for his work. It all started to make sense. She wasn't practicing self-love, she was being selfish, and that was the difference. What would you have done if you were Sai? Let us know in the comments, and until next time, remember, don't ever believe that you only matter because someone else doesn't. Everyone matters, including you.